We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to assign multiple IP addresses to a single network card. Go ahead and click on the control panel. And from here, we'll click on the network and sharing center. Now we'll click on the change adapter settings on the upper left hand side. And we see our network card. You might also see a wireless network card if you have a wireless adapter on there. Go ahead and right click on either one of those. Go to properties. And you're going to see lots of different checkboxes here. We're going to double click on the TCP IP version 4. Now we're assuming that your computer already has multiple static uh, or a, a static IP address in your computer and you just want to add an additional one to have multiple static IP addresses. If this is set to obtain an IP address automatically then this video does not apply to you. You'll need to first see how to set a static IP address. Let's go ahead and click on advanced and where it says IP settings click add. Now you can do one of two things. You can either add another IP address in the same subnet, so 192.168.213, but have a different host number because you can't have two hosts with the same IP address. Or you can be in a completely different subnet if you want to communicate with a device that's on another subnet. So let's go ahead and, and give one on the same subnet. So we'll do 192.168.213 and we'll do 201. Now if you hit the tab key, we'll see the subnet mask gets filled in automatically. That's because this is considered a class C subnet, and so it's going to mask the first three octets in the row. The last octet is for the host. So we'll go ahead and click Add, and now we see two IP addresses. Let's go ahead and add another one, and this time we're going to make it a completely different one. We'll do 10.50.2.3. And if we hit the tab key, you'll see we just have the subnet mask because this is a class A address of 255.000. If we want, we can change that, but that is the default. We'll go ahead and click Add. So now we have two IP addresses in one subnet and one IP address in another. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click OK. And it doesn't show it up here, but it does show it in the advanced area. And we'll go ahead and click OK and OK. Now, just to see if that works, we're going to open up a command prompt. And we're going to see if we can ping those new, one of those new addresses. So we'll ping 192.168.213.201. And you can see that we can ping it. And, of course, we can also ping our original address as well. So that's how you set multiple IP addresses on a network card in Windows 10.